What's up, guys? Fierce Day here, bringing you another Dark Souls video. Um, today, I will be showing you guys how to get to the one of the new places in Dark Souls: Prepare to Die or Artorias of the Abyss, Abyss DLC for the console players that's coming out soon. But, anyways, so what you do is you come over here where this hydra is uh... you have to fight your way through some golems not a big deal uh... pretty easy to kill especially if you're a higher level not really high level but i'm only like level maybe fifty in this video so somewhere around there but uh... as you can see it's in fast forward mode because um, when i started making this video uh, had some issues and whatnot and it's just a big clusterfuck so I'm just recording now while the video is playing I hope you guys don't mind but as you can see I already killed the Hydra there so sorry for you guys if whoever wanted to watch it um, it it's nothing new um, most of you guys already know how that fight goes down it's really easy compared to uh, what do you want to call it the the Hydra in Ash Lake um, underneath the Great Hollow, um, it's it's just a lot easier to fight that Hydra than it is on the other one. And then, which once you kill that Hydra, you have to go back to the bonfire, um, like re save so everything respawns, come back, and there'll be a gold crystal golem here, and uh, you just gotta fight it. And dusk of Ulysseel will be inside of this golem once you kill it she'll come out and uh, you'll be able to talk to her um, don't use like AOE attacks on the golem whenever you're about to kill it because sometimes the AOE attacks will last a little bit longer than his death and it will hurt her and then you're screwed but anyways um, talk to her um, she'll say some fancy words to you um, once you get done talking to her uh, I don't know if this is like made it mandatory. I don't know if you have to talk to her or not, but I did. Better safe than sorry, I guess. But talk to her, be nice to her, say yes to whatever she has to say, listen to her. And then you just go to uh where you want to go. After that, you have to you have to get the um Lord vessel. If you do not have the Lord vessel, um, you will not be able to get what needs to be got for uh, <laughs> to get to Sanctuary Garden, I believe is what the place is called. Um, right here, you can see I'm buying Cast Light. It helps for uh, later on the road when you're about to go fight Gravelord Nido. Um, it helps in the Tomb of Giants because uh, it's dark, can't see a damn thing. So uh, having that really helps. It puts, you, it puts a little orb of light above your head so as you can see I um, after I bought that came here to a Norlando um, warped here because I had the Lord Vessel already makes the Lord Vessel just makes Dark Souls so much easier to get around um, you can fight these guys if you want I didn't just because I wanted to get through and get what I need to get so but once you put the uh, Lord Vessel into that little stump of a I don't even know what you want to call it you just put it in there and uh, it'll unlock that uh, fog right there in that doorway that we just passed and uh, that way you can come in here um, there's these boards there's two boards blocking the way to get to the broken pendant um, they're pretty annoying to fight as you can see I'm playing it safe but you can run past them if you can get around them. It's a pretty narrow hallway, so it might be a little iffy to do it. But I just took them out real quick and uh, went on my merry way. Oh, also, uh, unfortunately, they nerf batted this uh, Prepare to Die edition on some things. Just a couple items that I know of so far. But my favorite thing that they nerf batted was... Uh, the wood grain ring which uh, makes it to where you can do front hand springs back hand springs or whatever you want to call those things uh, 
flips whatever anyways um it makes it to where you have to have a lot less uh equipment load like a lot le a lot less weight for your equipment load so i'm not wearing near as good as armor as i would like to be but i would happily trade uh, some good pieces of armor f some good pieces of armor for the ability to roll and do not roll but the ability to do those handsprings that I was talking about um, sorry if that was a little jittery there I uh, had some more difficulties with this recording program um, I would like to get another one this one doesn't seem to be working too great out too great out wow I can't even talk too too great but uh anyways back on track uh you come up this little elevator here and you come into this room and you can see the golem in the top right hand corner of your screen right now um that's the golem you have to kill to get the broken pendant um i'm just fighting the rest of these little crystal zombie things whatever you want to call them but just gotta fight your way through them. Try not to die. Um, I about did here, so yeah. Uh, just it was a messy fight. Definitely surprised me. I didn't remember that all of these guys were here in the console version, but guess they were. So, anyways, kill them. Um, pull this golem out of the doorway so you don't get shot by that uh, chancellor or whatever you want to call those stupid things. You don't want to get hit by their magic arrows while you're trying to fight stuff. It's no fun. Um, just fight this guy. Kill him. Play it safe. Always play it safe on Dark Souls. But once you kill him, uh, he'll drop the broken pendant. Um, then all you got to do is just beat feet back to the cave uh, where Dusk was at. Um... It's a bit of a long haul. Uh, we'll get there. But, as you can see, I'm warping to Farling Shrine because that was the closest place that I could get. Um, once I get there, I just haul balls back to where Dusk was. Uh, pretty much run through everything so I don't have to fight. I, I mean, I like fighting. I love the fighting mechanics for this game, but... It gets repetitive at times, so whenever I gotta do stuff, I just run through real quick. Alright, so I'm coming down the tower where uh, Aramis, or whatever his name is, I don't know, that blacksmith, um, he's a swell guy, he's a good old chap. Anyway, so you run through there, then you come to the Dark Root Basin, and what you do here is you just have to fight one of these tree dudes, no big deal, um, he dropped something so I come back and pick it up. But and then you'll take a hard right up here by this pond or whatever you want to call that that little puddle <laughs> and uh, you just make your way back down the little cliff to where the hydra was I also found out the hard way that uh, once you place that lord vessel into that little pedestal thing um, it blocks some other ways. I don't know if it's the Lord Vessel or if it's the pendant that I was holding, but it's fogged out a, do a doorway to a bonfire right there. So I was like, well, shit. So I just went without saving, which is a very scary thing to do in this game. So, once again, I am running through this little forest, going to the lake where the Hydra was, and to the cave where Dusk is, was.
and once we get there there will be like a dark cloud of mist or whatever you want to call it you just have to go up to it and examine it and once you do that a freaky hand will come out and take you to the sanctuary shank 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 sanctuary garden uh and that's the starting to the new portion of dark souls But yeah, as you can see, that the hand's very creepy, and it likes to manhandle you. But it, here we are, Sanctuary Garden. Um, hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, hope you benefit from this video. That way you can find your way, because I know I had trouble trying to find out where to go. But there you have it. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Until next time.